Thank you for joining me. In this video, I'll be showing you how to program the linkage widget for the WaterJet Nautodesk Fusion 360. Our part has already been modeled. We're going to switch from the design model space to the manufacturing workspace. First thing we need to do is create a setup. This will set up our stock size and our work coordinate system. Our work coordinate system, the XYZ origin, is going to be at this top of the part, bottom left corner. We need to change our operation type from milling to cutting. And we're going to go over to the stock tab and remove our additional stock top offset to zero. And now we have some dimensions that our part is basically going to be cut within a stock size of 2.17 by 2. Oh, excuse me, 1.21 and an eighth inch thick. On the post process tab, I'm going to add a file name. So this will be the linkage widget, comment, initials, and we're going to use the zero for the work coordinate offset. Hit OK. And now we can start adding the cutting tool paths. We're going to go into the fabrication section and go into 2D profile cutting. This is used for water jets, lasers, and plasma cutters. The first thing we need to do is define our tool. In the select box, this is our tool selection window. Over on the left hand side, we're going to go all the way over into samples. There are lots of preloaded tools within Fusion 360. Probably hundreds, if not maybe a thousand. First thing we're going to do is filter it to a cutting operation. This will limit the number of tools that are visible. So we have basically now six inch and metric. We're going to be using the 0.021 water jet tool. Click OK. We're going to do some quick changes to that tool because that's not the exact tool that's used in the Protomax. It's very close and probably could totally work almost all the time, but we're going to do it right. We're going to go into the tool library up here in the manage section. On this 0.021 water jet tool, right click, edit tool, we need to change the kerf width of the cutting tool. That's going to be 0.03. So a little bit bigger kerf on the Protomax water jet nozzle compared to the default one in Fusion. Holders fine, feeds and speeds. It's actually going to use quality instead of feed rates. Post processor, tool numbers do not matter on the water jet. Click OK. Click yes, close, and then now I'm going to go into and select my tool. And I should have that tool right there, that 0 0.03 water jet. I have two of them because I've already created one already. So that was my practice one. This is my one right now. Click OK. So our tool is selected. And now we're going to click on cutting mode. We're going to do through auto. We could do high quality, medium quality, or low quality. We'll just keep this on auto for right now. Go to the next tab and on geometry we're just going to click on this top surface. Heights tab, nothing here ever needs to be changed for the water jet. Passes, this is going to be totally fine and also linking we could possibly occasionally change our lead ins and lead outs but for right now we're just going to hit OK and see that we have a tool path. So we can see now that the water jet will lead in for this circle it will lead in for the outside but it will not lead in for this inside circle. That is primarily because this curve lead in distance, not the curve, has nothing to do with the curve but the lead in distance is too long. So we need to go in and right click, edit, 
go into our linking and change our lead in geometry. We're going to make this 90 degrees and the lead in distance can drastically be reduced. The default lead in distance in Fusion is for a bigger water jet for bigger parts. So our minimum lead in distance is going to be 0 0.05. That's 20 thousandths larger than our nozzle curve diameter. 0.1 would probably be the maximum that we want to do, but we're going to go ahead and put this at 0 0.05 and hit OK. And now we can see our lead ins are much smaller and it accesses that small hole. We can simulate this cutting strategy using the simulate button right here. And down here in the middle, click play and it will simulate the cutting process on the part, cutting out the large circle, small circle, and then finishing with the outside profile. Click close. We need a tab for this part so it will not fall into the tank. Right click on your 2D profile, edit. On the geometry tab, so that's the second one, we have an option for tabs. You can see if you hover, you have a nice visual of what that looks like. The tab width, 0.1 is fine. It's a little thick, we're gonna go 0 0.05. We do not need a large tab for this small part. And for tab positioning, we're gonna change it from by distance to at points, and we're going to physically click, we're going to pick this transition point right here and add our tab. Click OK. It's going to regenerate and now we can see that our lead in looks a little different, a little wider because of that tab. Simulate. I'm actually going to turn on the stock, give us a better representation. So this piece would just fall into the tank, that's fine as well as that one and now it's cutting out the outside and we can see we have that tab left for our part. Click close. That is everything you need to do to program your part for the water jet. After you have programmed it, double checked everything, you need to post process. Click on your setup click post process and that takes your toolpath that you see in Fusion and turns it into code for the water jet. Set up, go to installed post library. These are the posts that are preloaded in Fusion. There is a Protomax post that is separate that can be downloaded, but for right now we will be using the Omax water jet post processor. We have our file name and comment that was entered in the setup, and then we're gonna hit post. This will get saved on a flash drive. I'm gonna save it on my desktop. And now we have our numerical code used to create this part on the water jet. This is the file that would get opened in the Protomax make software. A final thing you could do that is nice and beneficial is a setup sheet. I need to make a folder for this setup sheet. Once the folder for the setup sheet is made, select that folder and this will generate a document that you will print that will tell you the stock size give you a visual representation of the part where the work coordinate system is, the number of operations and tools used. Pretty minimal on a water jet, but still valuable information. The cycle time on this will vary because it doesn't really know the thickness of the material. It's kind of a guesstimate. Refer to the statistics in the OMAX or Protomax make software for more accurate representations of cycle time. Thank you.